Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a monthly reading for the sign of Pisces. These messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. These messages are going to be for the month of November. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to jump right into it. First, I'm going to start off by pulling some overall messages. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Pisces? November messages for Pisces. Okay, I have Gateway. So let's get another message. Okay, oh wow. Okay, so I have four additional messages. I have forgiveness and understanding. I have listen deeply. I have five messages, okay. I have learning experience. I have sacred plan. And I have signs and reminders. You are getting ready to enter a new path in life. I heard doors are getting ready to open for you. Doors that you were not able to go through in the past. They're about to open for you. You're about to get a new opportunity. I feel that for some of you, this change is taking place because you have went through a cycle. You have truly, truly released things that do not serve you thoughts emotions i have forgiveness and understanding yes you have chosen to forgive to forgive people who have hurt you it's like you have developed an understanding for who they are you understand that they chose to do the things that they have done to you because of their hurt their past pain issues that they have not released that they were holding on to and because they were hurt, because they had not released, they had not forgiven, then they were not able to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. It's like the saying goes, hurt people hurt people. And because they were hurt, they chose to hurt you. And that is what you have come to understand. I feel that you are definitely listening deeply to yourself. You are listening deeply to your intuition, to the guidance that spirit is giving you. You are paying attention to the downloads, the signs, the reminders. Spirit says, I have not forgotten about you. Spirit has not forgotten about you. Your prayers are about to be answered. Everything that you have prayed for, everything that you have hoped for is about to be released to you. Every experience served to make you the person that you are today. They have taught you many lessons. They have taught you a lot about self, a lot about life. Everything that you have endured, all of the hardships was a part of God's plan for you. It was to help you become the person that you are today. It was to help you truly grow. Grow into who God needed you to be. And now that you have completed this cycle, completed this transformation, you are ready to walk through the door onto a new path. So let's get into your main messages. So Spirit gave me some messages from Pisces. Messages from Pisces, please. Okay, so I have 
the six of swords in the reverse. So let's get some more messages. Okay, I have the four of cups and I have the eight of pentacles. So let's get a few more messages. I have the page of pentacles in the reverse. I have the two of wands in the reverse. And I have the strength card in the reverse. So I feel that for some of you, you had a very difficult time walking away from something, releasing something. It's like, I heard regret. For some of you, this is regret, resentment. You had a hard time letting go of a past situation. It's like you kept on reflecting on the situation, on what has taken place in your life. And it's like you were not able to embrace new opportunities, blessings that spirit tried to give you because you kept focusing on the past. You would not let something go. And it's like with the eight of pentacles, it's like spirit was presenting an opportunity to you for growth. Spirit was trying to help you grow, help you evolve, mature as a person. But it's like you were just unable to move forward. You were unable to embrace this new opportunity for growth, for self-love. It's like you could not see clearly because you kept reliving the past. And this made you really not have the confidence that you needed her weak. You felt very weak. You were in a weak space. You were unable to pull from that inner strength because you kept reliving the past. So let's get deeper into your messages. So Spirit, give me a message for the Six of Swords in the reverse. I have the King of Swords in the reverse, and I have the Prince of Swords in the reverse, which is the Page of Swords. I'm sorry. This is the Knight of Swords. So, you did not have the ability or you were just unable to you refuse to let go and release something out of your life i feel that this is definitely things that you were holding on to from the past for some of you this is childhood issues that you failed to let go of you failed to heal from and it's like you were not able to see the direction clearly for yourself you were unable to really see the path clearly to see your future to see what spirit God had in store for you. To really be able to move forward because you kept being stuck in the past. You could not release something that had, take, that had taken place. So let's get a message for the Four of Cups. Yeah, you had a very difficult time cutting this out of your life, releasing these toxic thoughts, these toxic feelings. You had a very difficult time forgiving someone.
I heard healing. Yes, yeah, spirit was offering you healing, was offering you a new opportunity to grow, to release, to, to just finally let this situation go so that you can move forward. I have the Ace of Cups and I have the High Priestess, yes. Spirit was offering you the opportunity to heal. Was offering you the opportunity, or I should say, will be offering you the opportunity for some of you to heal, to let go, to release. To finally be able to move forward with your life. To no longer focus on past hurt and past pain. To no longer focus on what people have done to you. To live in the present moment. And take advantage of the opportunities that Spirit is trying to give you. A new cup Spirit is giving to you. One of happiness, one of peace, one of joy, one of healing. It's time for you to accept this cup. And release things that no longer serve you. Live in the present moment. So let's get a message for the Eight of Pentacles. the fool you need to trust this you need to trust this process there's so much enlightenment on this journey there's so much growth that is waiting for you accept this journey I feel that this is what November is going to be about for some of you accepting this healing embracing a new path releasing things of the past Embracing growth. So let's get a message for the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. disc, which is the five of pentacles. Feeling left out. You felt like someone abandoned you. Look at the eye. It's like looking through some type of peephole. Looking at this hand. And it's like feeling like you missed out on something. Feeling like you missed out on an opportunity. Feeling like someone wasn't there for you the way that you needed them to be. It's like not being able to reach out to this person. Some of you have abandonment issues that you need to let go of. Let's get a message for the two of wands in the reverse. Yes, yeah, Spirit is giving you an opportunity to take this cup, this overflowing cup of healing, of releasing. I have the Empress. You're not able to see yourself clearly. You're not able to really embrace who you are. You are the empress. Loving, nurturing, kind. I heard self-esteem. Some of you have self some of you have self-esteem issues that you need to work on. This is due to situations that you have been through in the past. Whether these situations were issues from your childhood or issues when it comes to past connections. But it's like it's tainted. 
this situation or these situations, these circumstances tainted the way that you view yourself. And it's like you find I heard look in the mirror. You need to look in the mirror and really embrace who you are. Really see yourself for the beautiful person, that spirit that God has created. It's time for you to really see yourself for who you are, the empress. Embrace your divinity. Embrace your magic. Embrace self. So let's get a message for strength in the reverse. Yes, it's time for you to heal so you can finally embrace who you are. See yourself the way that God's spirit sees you. So you can be in your power. So that you can accept this opportunity or opportunities that spirit is getting ready to give to you. So that you won't be afraid to walk through the door and go into a new direction. Go on to a new path. Okay, I have the world and I have the king of wands. Yes, you are fearful. I heard rejection. You may be fearful of being rejected, but it's like you're fearful about entering this new cycle. But if you can look at this picture, she has the world in her hand. You have the world in your hand. You are in control. Get rid of the defeating thoughts. Get, what, get rid of all of the negative things that people have told you. Understand who you are. Understand your power. Understand that you have the world in your hands. With this King of Wands, the path is clear. All you have to do is move forward. All you have to do is have confidence in the direction that spirit is giving you. Release. It's time for you to release the negative defeating thoughts and come into your power. Embrace your inner being. Develop the confidence that you need in order to go onto this new journey. Spirit is gifting you with healing. It's time. It's time for you to heal, release, let go. So let's get one more message. And I feel that for the month of November, this is going to be a very pivotal month for you in terms of your emotions, in terms of your healing, in terms of your growth, really coming into yourself. And I heard confidence. You are really going to be working on your self-confidence. And it's like you are going to be able to finally move forward in life. You're going to be able to finally have a new perspective of yourself. And that is going to empower you. That is going to empower you to move forward. That is going to empower you. I heard change. For some of you, that is going to empower you to embrace change, to embrace a new opportunity, to no longer be fearful, but to love the skin that you are in, to really love yourself, to love the person that God has created, you. I have dragon. Discover your inner courage. Yes, discover your inner courage. Do not be fearful. Do not be fearful about this new journey, this new path. Like I said, you have the world in your hands. You are in control. 
You are the magician. You can manifest whatever you want for yourself. You just have to believe that you can. You have to know that you can. You have to be courageous in your pursuits. Whatever it is that you want shall be yours if you believe it, if you have faith. Like I said, doors are getting ready to open for you. You are getting ready to walk into a new cycle, a new season in your life. But you cannot take the old with you. You must leave those old thoughts, those negative feelings behind. Because they have no place in this new cycle. They have no place in this new season of your life. It's time for you to let go so that you can finally live. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.